For the longest time, we've been creating tokens using the SIP28 standard, and that's the way it's been since the Merry Hard Fork back in March 2021. Now we have the SIP68 standard, a brand new way of creating tokens, and that brings in a whole bunch more metadata, brand new smart contract interactions, and of course, upgradable data on those tokens, NFTs or fungible tokens, whatever they are. Now, this, this is a cool new project that has come up, a brand new service, I should say, and they've put together this platform where you can mint your SIP68 token. So there's SIP68 NFTs out there. I use Saturn NFT for my own NFT collection, the Kadana Press Wapus, where you can interact with a smart contract and upgrade that NFT over time. You can do some really cool things with it. But now you can also do that with tokens. And it is now the recommended way of actually going about and creating a token on the Cardano ecosystem. So I'm gonna go through and talk a little bit about this so that you have a better idea and understanding of how things are evolving in the Cardano space and why they are doing so this way. So for those that are new to the channel, I'm Peter Bui. Please consider hitting that thumbs up, the subscribe button and notification bell on your way in. I'm here to try and educate you so you learn a little bit more from the technical side of things in the Cardano ecosystem, as well as all these real cool new innovations that are coming out there. Now this brand new platform that has come out, it's called White Rock and I'll bring it up on screen here. So this is it here and you can easily go through the platform and start creating a token. Here you can see a token, the scrap token that I've just created. And I'm just playing around with this one here. This is intended for the Cardano Press WAPUs where you can use a scrap token and upgrade the WAPU and do some cool things there. But with this one here, you can go through and start creating your token within three steps and you're done. There's no additional costs to do so other than the transaction costs. Now, one of the really big benefits of creating a SIP68 token is that it does away with a centralized process that a lot of the DEXs, a lot of the platforms out there were using or may still be relying on. And this is the Cardano token registry. This is a GitHub repo where everyone in the community has been uh, referring to for all of the tokens within the ecosystem. So if you've created a token, you would have added your token to this token registry so that all the DEXs and platforms out there know exactly who owns it, uh, its policy ID, its asset ID, its image, and all those other aspects. So this token registry is getting bigger and bigger over time and it takes a lot more processing power to actually go through it all and process it to make it appear on DEXs, wallets and all those things. And earlier this year, there was actually an outage due to a massive update of this token registry. I can't remember the details exactly, but it took down a platform for a little while because the memory that was required to process all of the tokens within the registry wasn't enough and it uh, stored that particular service and caused other platforms to go down for a while. So this is definitely a central point of failure and taking all of this data and putting it on chain through the SIP68 metadata is a really good upgrade process and all the DEXs and platforms out there are starting to use this brand new metadata standard. So I'm all for this. I think it's really good for the ecosystem. Taking away some of those centralized processes and putting it all on chain is a really cool thing. Now let me take you through minting a brand new token on their platform. Like I said, it's really quick and easy. So here I'll click on mint. Next, you need to give it a token name. This will appear on all of the explorers. So I'll give it a token name. Add in a ticker, it can be whatever you want. Give this a description, you have a maximum of 60 characters, you're limited there. Then enter in the amount of decimal places that you want, by default it's zero. Type in the supply, the total amount of supply of tokens, a URL if you have a website or maybe a Twitter account if you don't have a website yet, and then choose an image for your token. You may have created one or uh, you could use any sort of image. Of course, like I said, you can update this at a later date. So these are the upgrade options that I was talking about. Here you can submit your token to the token registry. Now this token registry is a off-chain database of all the tokens within the Cardano ecosystem. So this is a library. It has all the correct URLs, policy IDs, unique 
websites and Twitter accounts, whatever it might be, and images for these particular tokens. So this is the old way. This is the standard way that things are doing at the moment. And you can use this method still to submit your token and have everything in the token registry there as well. So there are some platforms that um, haven't upgraded this yet, so they still need to use the token registry. The next part here is that research tweet. You can put that uh, option in and you'll get the extra promotion through their Twitter account through uh, White Rock. The last option there is to save the policy keys. So that is an option to save the policy keys. And you can see here, you can access your keys anytime from our platform, self custody by default if token register if no token registry submission. So you do have all those options there. So I'm not gonna click anything. I'm just gonna click on save policy keys for now. Click next. And there you can see the uh, general breakdown. You can see all the order summaries. Check if they're all correct. And then you can see that the fee is zero. So I can mint that now and the transaction comes up in my wallet and it's just the uh, amount of ADA that I need to uh, move with the token as well as the transaction fee which is just over two ADA there. So I'm just gonna sign this transaction, saving the keys, and there we go. So I can download that key and save it to my device so I can get back to it at a later date. So now once you've missed your token, your token will appear within a few minutes on the platform and you're good and ready to go. That quick and simple to start creating your brand new SIP68 powered token within the Cardano ecosystem. Now you can see with my scrap token that I've got here, you can click on this one here and you can see that I can edit all these fields and modify them. So if I've done a typo, I can do so. And this is the upgradable part of the actual uh, token itself. And this is really cool and important, especially if you've done spelling errors, everything's on chain. So, you know, you can't change anything once it's all committed. But in this case you can, because it's an upgradable uh, token. So this is really cool for any project that is evolving. You have a DAO controlling it and there's general consensus in the long run where it needs to be changed or modified or whatever it is. Or if the token does evolve and you want to upgrade the graphics to it, you can do so this way too. Other projects on Cardano, for example, may have minted their tokens without decimal places and they have to go through an upgrade process to upgrade to the next version. So there's a lot of reasons why you want to be able to change, modify and upgrade your token in the future. Big shout out to Nido who also made the backing track for this video as well. If you haven't seen his work in the Cardano ecosystem, links all down below for you. And if you want to start minting your own token using this White Rock platform, links also down below for you as well as all the resources that you need to learn more about the 628 uh, token registry, how things are done currently, and a little bit more about SIP68. I also did a video with Nick from Saturn NFT about SIP68 NFTs. Make sure you check out that video too. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me that thumbs up. Really thankful for all the support and all the views I get on this channel. Really appreciate you guys. Hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.